Hello everyone, you are welcome back to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet you all according to your time. Thank you guys for always stopping by. I do really appreciate. The Ghana Union of Association has appealed to the Committee on Foreign Retail Trade to resume operation to close down shops of undocumented foreign retailers. The development comes amidst purportedly planned by the Nigerian Union of Traders Association in Ghana to reject the special dispensation granted to them by the government of Ghana despite a series of diplomatic efforts by both Nigeria and Ghana government. A statement from Ghana Times reads, This inappropriate attitude of the Nigerian traders in Ghana is not only an insult but also a well-orchestrated plot to frustrate the committee, state, and the people of Ghana. Therefore, we of the Ghana Union of Traders Association wish to appeal to the Committee on Foreign Retail Trade to, as a matter of urgency, resume its operation without any delay as the behavior of the Nigerian traders has unseriously provoked Guinea's trader and reigniting agitations in the market. Meanwhile, Tony Nkem Onyegolu, former president of All Nigerians Committee, Ashanti Region, has appealed to the president of Ghana, Nana Ado, to issue a directive for the reopening of shops owned by Nigerian traders. Mr. Tony said since the closure of their retail shop by the local authorities, things, got, things have got worse for some of the Igbo traders in the country. He explained that the majority of the Igbo traders have been victimized by the move and are hard-pressed financially, highly indebted and have not been able to pay off loans they took from financial institutions to run their businesses. In reaction, Mr. Chukwe Meka Naji, the president of Nigerian Union of Traders Association in Ghana, urges the president of Ghana, President Mohamed Buhari of Nigeria, ECOWAS Commission and the international community to urgently intervene and prevent Guta from attacking our members as they have promised in their past press release. According to him, he said the current decision by Guta comes as a surprise since it has been able to appeal to the internal ministerial community of both countries to reveal the issue. This is to allow our members who have not registered with GIPC to stay out the remaining days, months or years of their tenancy agreement after which they are supposed to pack out because the rent of those shops shall not be renewed and will not be allowed to rent shop anywhere in Ghana. The Nigerian Union Traders Association Ghana has been ordered to collect all the business documents of members, including the tenancy agreement of respective shops or stores. According to Nigerian Union, the Ghana Union of Traders Association failure to adhere to the review of the succession granted by the two co-chairmen of the Joint Implementation Tax Force, as well as its threat, is unfortunate. We are particularly concerned about the latest threat because the Ghana Union has, since 2007, been issuing and carrying out attack against Nigerian traders. The use of such violence measures has not ended well for any of the traders from the two brotherly countries. We are appealing to the president not to succumb to people who want to re-roll him into an exercise which is purely an eviction disguise as succession. And they also said that if the Ghana Union of Traders Association acts on its threats, Thousands of Nigerians will be made to suffer, going back to Nigeria with little or nothing, as many of them had their shops locked for almost two years. Well, this is really quite unfortunate that Nigerians, any where they go, they know they really accept them. Did they get one problem or the other? But now only God now go help them.